I will adopt a strategy that focuses on three things when it comes to Iran. First, we will stand up to Iran's aggressive push to destabilize and dominate the region. Iran is a very big problem and will continue to be. But if I'm not elected president, I know how to deal with trouble. And believe me, that's why I'm going to be elected president, folks. And we are leading in every poll. Remember that, please. <laughs> Iran is a problem in Iraq, a problem in Syria, a problem in Lebanon, a problem in Yemen, and will be a very, very major problem for Saudi Arabia. Literally every day, Iran provides more and better weapons to support their puppet states. Hezbollah, Lebanon received, and I'll tell you what, it has received sophisticated anti-ship weapons, anti-aircraft weapons, and GPS systems and rockets like very few people anywhere in the world and certainly very few countries have. Now they're in Syria trying to establish another front against Israel from the Syrian side of the Golan Heights. In Gaza, Iran is supporting Hamas and Islamic Jihad. And in the West Bank, they're openly offering Palestinians $7,000 per terror attack and $30,000 for every Palestinian terrorist home that's been destroyed. A deplorable, deplorable situation. <laughs> Iran is financing military forces throughout the Middle East and it's absolutely incredible that we handed them over $150 billion to do even more toward the many horrible acts of terror.